Hi everybody, it's Claire here with um, just a tutorial really on how I glitter my projects. Thanks to everyone that sent a mail regarding uh, this one. This was my steampunk and want to scrap and art glitter project that was out on the Graphic 45 blog um, a couple of weeks ago. And it is a really glittered up um, album and I really, really enjoyed making it. Very messy, lots of sparkle, but um, I think the glittering, I, I really, really enjoyed it. So I've had lots of requests since I've done it, um, just for me to show you some hints and tips on how I use glitter in my projects. So what I thought I'd do is show you two or three different samples and different ways that that I follow. So I'm going to make this tag which was one of the tags out of uh, the steampunk album and cover a button, put a border on um, the tag and glitter up some words on here. So let's zoom in a little bit otherwise you won't see. Um, first of all though I need to show you what I use, so let's move that out of the way. Depending on what effect I want, I use the glossy accents and art glitter glue. And that one comes, um, if you buy the glitter set, it comes with a really really fine nozzle and a stainless steel pin in the end, which is really really useful. I use it in my glossy accents as well. Um, just to make sure that the nozzle stays open and the glue comes out. Ooh, can't get it back in. <laughs> okay, so those two absolute essentials. And then um, I fell in love with the Art Glitter Pee Wee Pots. The colours in them are absolutely gorgeous. And they're being discontinued over here in the UK. So I have bought myself a few of them. I turn them upside down, you might be able to see the different colours. I say a few, there's quite a lot. But I like the golds and the greens. And let's move those out of the way. Let's bring these on. They are really, really fine. And these little peewee pots come in a mixture of opaque and translucent glitters. And for every project, you really don't use an awful lot. I tend to sprinkle glitter rather than um, use it on a, a whole surface, so um, it goes a long way. So let's just move those out of the way. So if you haven't got any and you like glittering, then hop off to the Art Glitter website or do a search for Art Glitter and um, you'll find the Pee Wee Pots. Anyway, Let's start with just putting a border on a tag. So I use this, um, the art glitter glue, take the pin out of the end and just very slowly and very carefully, oh it's not going to come out, there it is, just put a very fine border the harder you press, the thicker the line. This has got to start again. Let's just wipe that off. It's coming out in a big blob now, so let's go slowly now. It's coming out. So I'm just pressing very lightly and using it like a pen, just going around that edge. It doesn't matter if you stop and start, Let's just turn it round. This glue will um, dry clear, this is the clear dry, but you can get a, a white dry as well. So, edged all of that, and now I'm going to use a Halloweeny colour. I don't know what the colours are actually in the Pee Wee Pots, they don't come with 
um, any information on colour. So I'm going to use uh, the Old World collection and a goldy one that's in there. Goldy. Yeah, goldy one. Um, they come in tiny little files, so I'm just going to take the top off. She says that's easier said than done because I don't want the glitter to go everywhere. I'll just ease the top off. It's not coming off. Right, here we go. And then I'm just very lightly just going to sprinkle the glitter over the top of the tag. Go this way. And doing this gives you a solid glittered border all the way around the edge. And I've used a piece of white paper just so that I can catch the, gl the glitter afterwards. It's a really lovely Halloween colour. And then I'm going to lift the tag up and just tap it. That's on it as well. And there it is. And then I'll leave that to dry, and once it's dry, I take my um, ink brushes and just brush off any excess glitter just to leave a really, really nice border. So that's how I put the borders around things. So let's just move, let's put that on there, remove those two out of the way. And put the lid back on the glitter has just fallen over. Now I'll show you how I did the tag. This um, little tag, I love the corset, was stamped with the Inkalicious um, stamp. It's called Corsetier. Um, I'm sure it's available worldwide but I just love um, the dress form and then the corsets and the little stamps that come in it and the tape measure as well. So what I did was, first of all I stamped the dress form onto a piece of, um, onto the tag and then put that aside, stamped the corset and then took my glue, this is the art glitter, the dries clear glue and just very carefully outlined and went over each of the lines on the corset. Now the harder you press the thicker your glitter line will be. So the outside lines I pressed a little harder than the inside lines. These ones I want to be really fine. So I'm hardly pressing at all. There's a tiny line of glue coming out. And I'm working towards myself. I might have to turn it right now. And that one. And then I'm just going to finish off across the top. A little thicker at the top. But I'm covering the inked image. And just a tiny one there. And down there to finish. So that's my inked image. I did um, just use my ink brush just to put some colour underneath stamped image before I started and now I'm going to use one of the glitters from the elements collection and again this one I did sprinkle all over it's a 
brownie one. And transparent this one as well. And then shake it off and that just gives you your sparkled image. And again, I left that to dry, brushed the excess off and then cut the image out and put it over the dress form. And I thought that looked really nice. And then I've tied it with some green raffia that I got from Pink Tulip Creations. Really nice little tag. So that was the, the tag and a raised image. And then moving on, let's just whiz out, otherwise you won't see this. Um, this is the Ladies' Diaries version of the vintage correspondence case that I made. And on the front, I have kept it quite simple, uh, but I really, really like using glossy accents and then just adding a little bit of glitter to the glossy accents just to give um, an elegance to whatever it is that I'm making. So if I move this over like that, the flower I've picked out, there is a really lovely image all around this cutout, and I've picked the flower out and I have glossy accented all the way up around this border, right down to the book knob, and just added different coloured glitters over the top. I don't know how well you can see it, but it does all sparkle. And then moving back down, I've also done the same with the um, Ladies' Diary words as well. So I've taken one of the cutout images and I'm going to write straight from the bottle with glossy accents. As long as you haven't put too many pins down your um, nozzle, you should be able to write really finely uh, by pushing very gently once you've got the nozzle over your letters. So it really is just a very gentle push. And then just, I've got the nozzle on the paper and I'm just tracing over the letters. Mm, you hear my stomach, sorry. <laughs> Of course, this dries clear, so if you don't go over each letter exactly, it, you can't really see it. So that's it. That's all covered in glossy accents. And then I'm going to use this really gorgeous pinky coloured um, glitter. Again, I can tell you what collection it's from. Simply Medallions but I'm not sure what the colour is. And then I literally just pinch out with my finger from the tube and sprinkle the glitter over the letters. Just sort of flicking it about. And that's enough just to give your letters or your words, phrases, just a hint of a sparkle. And when it's dry, it will just catch the light and look lovely. So that's how I do my um, letters and words. And again, once that's dry, go over it uh, with a brush and then um, we'll clean everything off, all the excess. If you're doing, if you want to work in two or three different colours, you have to let each stage dry before you go back in and do the next one. So it is a little time consuming. Um, just to bling up a button, um, I did this with the cogs and all the uh, little bits and pieces in the steampunk album. I just took some glossy accents, just squirted a little bit on the top of the button, brushed that over with my finger or the top of the piece that I was working on. Put it down like that. I'll use the same glitter. And then again, 
just take a pinch of glitter and sprinkle it over the top. And then you can still see the pattern coming through, but it gives it a real sparkle when it catches the light. So there's the, the button. And again, just leave it to dry before I use it. So I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope um, I've given you some ideas. They are, of course, only my ideas. Let's just move this out. Um, and just the way I've, um, I use glitters. Um, and email me if you've got any questions. Thanks for watching. And then lastly, here's a little crow that I did. Um, he's one of the, um, the Hampton Art stamps. And if I move him in really closely, he's got those lovely glasses on the pince nez that I um, had a, or made a spectacle case for. And I'm just going to show you how I did him. Let's just move this out of the way. So I've stamped my image with black Adirondack ink and now just using my um, ink blender, no, ink brush I should say, I'm just going to colour the background before I start inking and glittering. So this is just spice marmalade. Think. Spice Marmalade Distress Ink. Let's just pick it all up. Let's put a bit more around the edge just to make him really spooky. I love these ink dusters. Have I told you that? <laughs> Right, so my image is ready to work on. And then I wanted him to be shiny, so I used glossy accents. I went over just very lightly his whole body, down his legs, trying to keep on the black image, down his tail. bit of a squirt on his body. His body's easy because you can use your finger and just smooth the glossy accents out. And then around the glasses and his beak. He's done in two stages, this little bird. And then in one of my pots I have got some black glitter. So let's get another piece of paper, pop him on that. And now I'm just going to sprinkle again. I'm pinching it out and I'm just going to let it sort of waft onto the, the image. I don't want him to be solid, solid sparkle. I just want him to have a hint of a sparkle. I think that's enough. Let's pop that over there. Right, let's tip him, tip him up. And again, that's just caught on the glossy accents and given him a hint of a black sparkle. And then once that's dry, I'll go over it, brush off the excess glitter, and then very carefully go around, here's the one I did before, go around the glasses with glossy accents and 
add the gold glitter to build him up and then you get your finished image. I didn't stamp uh, ink that one before I put the glossy accents on and you can see where I've gone over the outside the image with the glossy accents and of course it didn't ink then. So ink first and then blink up. So I hope you've enjoyed that walkthrough. Uh, if you've got any questions just mail me and thanks very much for watching.